Good. How are you? Caitlin Cranich is among the 200,000 Australian women per year who choose to use the contraceptive pill. The medical student was relieved when she found out access could get easier, with a pilot pharmacy program underway in Queensland. To be able to come and also get the medication that you need, which otherwise you can't get unless you go to a GP, pretty good. But the 23-year-old has struggled to access the service with her closest pharmacy not part of the pilot. There are pharmacies closer to me, but um, to have to come half an hour just to get the pills kind of frustrating. Across Queensland, there are 70 pharmacies currently involved. Seven are in Brisbane. Females over 16 have access to the service. 150 pharmacists are in training. As pharmacies get more and more members of their team trained up, I'm sure we'll see more advertising of it. A standard pharmacy consult fee of $35 will remain in place. There's certainly been advocacy uh, to, to waive that fee for certain populations. I think there are people such as concession card holders who uh, shouldn't have to pay for this service. Stacey Huang is one of the first Queensland pharmacists to participate and agrees the fee should be waived. With the cost, cost of living uh, rising every year, absolutely. Queensland Health says the pilot program will continue through until June. The future of the service will then be assessed and a report handed down in September, but it wouldn't comment on whether the cost of the service would be subsidised. The Australian Medical Association believes women should see their GP instead. We feel that there's opportunity for women when they do see their GP is to have a full history examination. Other states are also trialling the program. New South Wales recently made it permanent. Shari Hams, ABC News.